हेलो फ्रेंड माय नेम इज सिक्कन कुमार फोटोशॉप एडिटर आप मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करेंगे आपको बहुत सारे फोटोशॉप ट्यूटोरियल मिलेंगे थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग सब्सक्राइब करिए Space bar. Now the color of the shape really doesn't matter, so I'm just gonna make it red, just so that you can see it. There it is, red. What I'm gonna do now is enable the layer of the snow border. I'm gonna click and drag her up to the top of the layers panel, and I'm also gonna double tap here on the zoom tool just so we can see the image at 100%. And actually, now that I'm looking at it at 100%, I'm actually gonna right click on it and choose Fit on Screen so that I can see the entire. Field. Notice that my selection is not very accurate. You shouldn't spend too much time at this moment. If you select an area like this part here that is obviously not going to be part of the selection, I'm going to hold Alt, Option to Mac, click and drag just to refine that selection just a little bit more. With this brush selected, I can click and drag here on the hair. Hopefully, we'll get better selection. Now, it didn't do that good of a job here, so. Like this for now, and then I can come back with the brush tool and fix that in a moment. So I'm press OK, click on the brush tool, paint with white in areas that I want to keep. So I'm just going to paint with white in these areas here. And I know I'm selecting some of the sky, but that's okay. I'm going to get rid of that by pressing X on the keyboard, which swaps the foreground and background color. So with black, I'm going to paint on that layer mask. To get rid of this guy here. And I'm not going to take the time to do so now. I will do that after the tutorial and you can see the final image. But I'm just going to go around the entire image and just go the tutorial and you can see my final duplicate. Now with the duplicate channel, I can start making adjustments to it. The first thing I'm going to do is fill with white on the areas that I want to keep for copy icon to make a selection around it. Go back into the layers panel on the background layer, which is the only layer that we have in this document. And notice now the floor is no longer there. Now it's not a perfect selection, but it's going to work because the color of the floor and the color of the table are very You can't see the corner handles. I'm accordingly, I'm holding shift as I'm clicking on these corner handles to keep the file constrained. The angle is not really matching my seam, so I'm going to right click on it flip horizontal and from here I can match see a little better I can even distort it if I want to maybe right click on it and choose distort just to get a better perspective of the scene that we're working with maybe something like this right click fit the screen then I'm going to press the V on the keyboard to get the move tool and maybe I can move it around if I need to and I'm going to click on the new group icon to create a new group I'm going to click and drag this snow layer in there I'm going to collapse it and now it's in that group next I'm going to hold hold option on the Mac and click on the layer mask icon to create a black layer mask which hides everything then with the brush tool I can paint with white on this layer mask to start revealing some of that snow so I'm going to use a bracket piece in the keyboard as I work to increase and decrease of my brush. So I'm just painting with white, just bringing in some of that snow. Snow a little bit better. At Photoshop CC, you won't have the library panel, but you can still download the watermark previews onto your desktop and bring them into Photoshop as you would any other image. So what I'm going to do now is just select one of these elements and bring it over to the file that I'm working with. So I'm going to click on the lasso tool and I'm going to select this Go to edit and copy or you can press ctrl c i'm going to deselect that element ctrl d command d on the mac go back into the file that we're working with and i'm going to paste it here ctrl v command d on the mac and there it is as you can see it's a high resolution file which is good i'm going to change the blend mode to green so the black text will disappear And I, 
I can, you know, scale it more if I need to or rotate it more if I need to. So whatever distortions I need to do for it to work. So maybe something like that. So I just press enter to accept that transformation. And I'm going to use one more element. I'm going to use this one right down here. Again, control C, copy, and paste that in here. Change the blend mode to screen. Control T to transform. That's command in the Mac. Control zero. Command zero the Mac. And scale this one in as well. And I'm going to zoom in. And here. We can, of course, create a selection around the black area to isolate it. But I like working the vectors better because they. And. I know I'm selecting some of the sky, but that's okay. I'm gonna get rid of that by pressing X on the keyboard, which swaps the foreground and background color. So the black, I'm gonna paint on that layer mask to get rid of the sky here. And I'm not gonna take the time to do so now. I will do that after the tutorial, and you can see the final image, but I'm just gonna go around the entire image and just make sure that everything is mapped out accordingly and in most of these areas everything seems to be okay I know we gotta work on this area here and like I said I'll do that from the photo and you can see my final result but for now we'll just leave it as it is I'm gonna press Z on the keyboard right click and choose this screen and what we're gonna work on now is extra elements that are gonna help our composite look much more realistic and much more interesting so from the Adobe Stock Library, I downloaded two elements we're going to use. We're going to use this shovel with snow. So let me just double-click on the options panel on the drop down. Click on one corner. And click on the next. Hold the space bar. Now the color of the shape really doesn't matter. So I'm just going to make it red just so that you can see it. There it is, red. What I'm going to do now is enable the layer of the snow border. I'm going to click and drag her up to the top also going to double tap here on the zoom tool just so we can see the image at 100% and actually now that I'm looking at it at 100% I'm actually going to right click on it and choose fit on screen so that I can see the entire field and notice that my selection is not very accurate you shouldn't spend too much time at this moment if you select an area like this part here that is obviously not going to be part of the selection I'm going to hold alt option on the Mac click and drag just to refine that selection just a little bit more This brush selected, I can click and drag here on the hair. Hopefully, we'll get a better selection. Now, I didn't do that good of a job here, so I'm just gonna leave it like this for now, and then I can come back with the brush tool and fix that in a moment. So I'm gonna press OK, click on the brush tool, paint with white in areas that I want to keep. So I'm just gonna paint with white in these areas here. And I know I'm selecting some of the sky, but that's okay. I'm gonna get rid of that by pressing X on the keyboard, which swaps the foreground and background color. So the black, I'm gonna paint on that layer mask to get rid of the sky here. And I'm not gonna take the time to do so now. I will do that after the tutorial, and you can see the final image, but I'm just gonna go around the entire image and just now with the duplicate channel, I can start making adjustments to it. The first thing I'm going to do is fill with white on the areas that I want to keep. First copy icon to make a selection around it. Go back into the layers panel on the background layer, which is the only layer that we have in this document. And notice now the floor is no longer there. Now it's not a perfect selection, but it's going to work because the color of the floor and the color of the table are very You can't see the corner handles. I'm according to I'm holding shift as I'm clicking on these corner handles to keep the file constrained. The angle is not really matching my scene, so I'm going to right click on it and choose flip horizontal. And from here, I can match the scene a little bit better. I can even distort it if I want to. Maybe right click on it and choose distort just to get a better perspective of the scene that we're working with. Maybe something like this. Right click, fit the screen. Then I'm going to press the V on the keyboard to get the move tool and maybe I can move it around if I need to. And I'm going to click on the new group 
icon to create a new group. I'm going to click and drag this snow layer in there. I'm going to collapse it. And now it's in that group. 